U23 world team member, Kayla Miracle, going for bronze tonight. Um, talk about your tournament so far. Uh, won my first two, lost in the semis to the Japanese girl that I beat at Schultz, so that's super frustrating. But I've got one more. Um, coming into this tournament, I really didn't want bronze, but here I am in the position to where, you know, bronze is the only color that I'm going to get, so I guess I'm going to have to take it. What was different about this match than, than the last time you wrestled there? Well, going into the match, mentally, uh, I felt better. Uh, just going into Schultz, I was, I was really worn down and just uh, not being me. And then going into this match, I was like, all right, let's go. And I don't know what happened. I just couldn't get my attacks off. I wasn't feeling anything um, how I wanted it to be. And just didn't end up the way I wanted it to be. You've been in this position before going for bronze. Um, what kind of advantage does that give you? Uh, I've been under the spotlight. Um, I've been in this exact situation to where um, I went into the tournament pretty pretty confident, thinking, you know, gold, it's my year, you know. Um, and that was my last year at Junior World. I lost to Ukraine in the semis, um, and then I had to go back and I wrestled super slow. I remember in the match, I was like, man, this match must be so boring. Like, this match is just so slow. Um, but I, like, pulled it out and got the bronze, did what I needed to do. So going into that, knowing um, the mindset that naturally I would have, um, I'm going to try and flip that, you know, go in, be excited, eager, um, get the first medal of our tournament. Actually, Amy as well. Um, so hopefully we'll get the first two, three, two, three. Interesting situation at the end of the match there where, where you're down one, she's on the clock, uh, you're going out of bounds, challenge, don't challenge. What, what were your thoughts on that, that whole uh, ordeal there at the end? I thought I was down. I didn't, I didn't think that I was up, but I guess I was. Um, and whether the refs made that call or not, you know, if it's their fault, you know, I still shouldn't have let the match be that close. And, it's my fault, so I'm going to have to live with it and just learn from it and not let it be that close next time. So what's the game plan going into tonight? Um, I just want to get my mind right, get my body feeling good. Um, three, three long matches, um, two full ones, and then a late second period one. My body's kind of tired because I try to stay off the mat as much as possible during tournaments, you know, get it over with. Um, so just kind of rest, get a shower in, maybe a little nap, get some food in me, and then oh, okay. just go in there and have fun. How do you regroup mentally when you come in here? Pardon? How do you regroup mentally, reset mentally for something like this? It's it's tough. Um, I guess I haven't really figured it out um, all the past times. You know, I've gotten the medal, but there I, w I wasn't like there mentally. I wasn't having fun and like playing with this. So just. I think I just need to, you know, maybe watch some Netflix or talk to my teammates, you know, just not think about the tournament, you know, not think about what's already happened, just uh, learn from the mistakes and move on and just take the match as it is. It's just six minutes left, you know, that's not even one segment of a show, you know, before the commercial comes on. So I just got to keep my stuff together for that long and call it a day and then on to uh, the World Cup.